couple of months ago I already made a video showing you 5 ways to style a blue suit. Back then I was wearing a single breasted suit made by Suit Supply. For quite a long time I also wanted to have a classic navy blue suit with a double breasted configuration and since my collaboration with Studio Suits I have a suit like this. So today I will show you 5 more ways to wear a blue suit, this time with a double breasted jacket. And if you had a shot every time I said suit, you're probably drunk now. Many of you might know this look from my Instagram. It's my most recent post which surprisingly got a lot of attention and more than 1000 likes, which is twice to thrice as much as my regular posts have. I built the outfit around blue and black elements. I'm wearing a striped shirt by Colaro, the full navy blue suit, black hole cut oxfords by Meerman and socks made by Undandy, which pick up the pattern of the necktie made by Oliver Wicks. On top of that I went for my black overcoat by Ferro Paris, which is a little bit short and pretty modernly styled for my taste, but the color and pattern just works incredibly well with a look like this. My new briefcase by Grams28 complements the look very well too. I decided not to wear a hat because I don't have a black fedora and my blue one would be overpowering with all the other blue tones already incorporated into this look. After all, this is a very simple outfit that works extremely well and looks classically elegant even though I mixed lots of blue and black tones together. Another option with a similar or even higher grade of formality, but less black included. I went for a white dress shirt with French cuffs, I really have to look into the topic of men's jewelry more deeply. The collar pin is quite long as well, as I said I have to look into the topic of jewelry, be prepared for a video or even two on this topic later this year. I also added a grenadine silk tie in an electric blue color combined with a pocket square and boutonniere incorporating yellow. I went for the same socks and shoes as you have seen in the look before, but adding a fedora would work a little bit better with an outfit like this one. Also my trench coat would be a decent option in case it is raining, of course complemented by my solid stick umbrella. Let's step down on the formality scale by wearing this windowpane shirt made by 4 gentlemen. With a pattern like this, other patterns should have a smaller scale to not be overpowering. So I went for a brown necktie, a brown, blue and grey pocket square and my brown fedora. I'm wearing penny loafers this time, of course with socks on. I just love combining blue, brown and white, it just works exceptionally well no matter the season and no matter if it's a rather casual or rather formal outfit. I could swap out the trousers for some brown tweed trousers or swap the jacket and go for something like this instead. These colors just build an awesome base for many outfit options. Of course, I won't make a video about blue suits without mentioning the menswear uniform. Grey flannels, striped shirt, blue jacket and some brown shoes or boots, depending on what you prefer. It is simple, but it is highly customizable for whatever you need or want. I could go for a necktie and a pocket square, add a fedora and some brown oxfords. I could also skip the necktie, wear a denim shirt and some suede Chelsea boots. I could fully skip the shirt, just go with the textured flannel fabric of the pants and add a turtleneck sweater, a v-neck or a cardigan. I love the menswear uniform because it will never be one outfit, it's a matter of interpretation and your liking. The last outfit for today is more of a transitional or even summery look. 
I love white trousers. Depending on the weather, I could either choose denim jeans, cotton chinos or even linen pants. Maybe the best match for the fabric of the jacket would be a Super 150's wool in white or ivory. Definitely something for my never-ending shopping list. In the summer I would absolutely go for my Panama hat. A grey one would be a very nice and unexpected touch, but the typical straw color works just as well. Maybe a nice and bright necktie? Maybe not. I could even go completely overboard and wear a one-piece collar shirt or a sweater with a nautical pattern. Some loafers or braided leather shoes on the feet and the four-season suit is turned into a proper summer piece of clothing. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I know it was rather short and maybe less interesting than the latest videos you have seen on this channel. But don't worry, I have some great content coming up in the upcoming weeks. Even one collaboration with another YouTuber I am very excited about. My list is full of video ideas, I just need the time and the money to make all of them happen. See you in two weeks.